Yeah, it's a cookie, yes. Come on, whiskey. Come on, whiskey. Come on, whiskey. Good girl. I love my donkeys and my horses. I'm in my miniature pony here. Whiskey and then Lulu. Oh yeah, look at the beautiful smile Lulu has. But no matter how much I love those animals, I still have to shuffle the shit, right? Oh yeah. You see, there's this shit. You see? And this is something that is just part of life. It's all about being useful. This is one of the lines that my father always gave me, by the way. I remember when I grew up, he says, be useful, two lines. But this is the thing that connected everything for me and carried me through. It was kind of the motivation for me my entire life. You know, when I was 15 years old, I had a very clear vision of what I wanted to do in my life. I wanted to go and become the greatest bodybuilder in the world. I wanted to come to America, get into the movies and become rich and famous. But the last thing that I expected, and they did not plan at all, when I was training in Austria in this dungeon underneath that stadium was that one day I will become governor of the great state of California. Or that I will become an advocate and go and campaign and be a crusader for a clean environment. Or even bigger than all of that, that is that I will become a motivational speaker. I mean, here I'm traveling all over the world all of a sudden, giving motivational speeches and getting more paid than any of the presidents or prime ministers or anybody else. It is wild. Nor did I expect that one day there will be a time where people will be like hundreds of thousands of people will look at my daily newsletter. I mean, think about that. People want to have the answer. They want to have my tools to success. I travel around the world and I meet thousands and thousands of people that say to me, says, Arnold, what can I do? I don't feel a purpose in my life. Or they're going to say, look, I'm a failure. How can I get out of bed in the morning and all of those kind of things? And then there'll be thousands and thousands of people that come up to me and say, thank you so much. You gave me the answer to my problems. So, you know, since I'm a person that is kind of always listening to the people, like in the movie business, you always have to listen to the people. What kind of movies do they want? What do they want to see? And that's the kind of movies you do. And that's how you become successful. And as a governor, when you're in politics, it's very important to listen to the people. What do they need? How do you can make their life better? Well, I've learned about listening. So I was listening when people said to me, says, why don't you put this down on paper? Why don't you do a book about your philosophy of life? Why don't you go and come up with rules and to put those rules down, those tools that you're talking about, the seven tools to success? I said to myself, you know something? They got a the point there. And that's exactly what I did. I started sitting down and I started writing page after page, line after line, paragraph after the paragraph. And then I had hundreds of pages together. And then out of that came this. Be useful. Because this is what my father always said, Arnold, be useful. Don't just waste your time on yourself, but be useful. Do something for other people. And then these are the seven rules, the tools to success. So then also you can be successful. Now here's the great thing about this book. It's coming out on October 10th. And the best thing about that is that you can pre-order this book right now. I will be promoting this book all over the world because this is something that will make anyone and everyone successful. Trust me. All right. Now remember, go to beusefulbook.com. You can order it right now.